Good evening. In every corner of the capital, cases of coronavirus are rising. Weekly figures from Public Health England show that 30 of the 33 boroughs are now seeing a spike, with infection rates also going up. Well, the government's rule of six comes into force on Monday, but will that be enough to slow the spread? And the clamour for COVID tests can supply keep up with demand as more and more of us are wanting one. Ria Chatterjee reports. Directions we hope not to have to follow. Well, the number of people we can meet up with is changing from next week as the government tries to limit the spread of coronavirus. Catherine Reid explains. Very soon, hundreds of thousands of students will be beginning or returning to their studies at universities across the capital, there to learn about their chosen subject, but they'll also have to get their heads around a whole new set of rules, not just for studying, but for campus life too. Freshers weeks have been cancelled. Some classes will be taken online. Martin Stewart has been speaking to tutors and students about concerns over safety and if they're getting value for money. Mother has appeared in court charged with the murder of her five-year-old daughter in Mitcham. Siagi Sivanathan was stabbed to death in June at her property on Monarch Parade. She was described as a smart kid who was always smiling. Sutha Sivanathan will appear at the Old Bailey next week. 680 people have been arrested during Extinction Rebellion protests this month in... They caught her today how a 16-year-old boy was killed with a zombie knife at East Croydon Station after receiving threats on Snapchat. A 17-year-old from Tooting, who can't be named because of his age, is on trial at the Old Bailey, accused of murdering Lewis Johnson in January. Well, Carolyn Sim joins us now from outside the court. Carolyn, what else was heard today? Still to come, we've got the full weekend forecast. Plus... But first, more than 40% of Londoners have avoided booking a GP appointment at the moment because of worries about coronavirus and confusion over new booking systems. A survey seen exclusively by ITV News also found that more than one in 10 people thought their practice was still closed when, in fact, it wasn't. GPs say the results are disturbing as patients may be putting off dealing with problems that need medical attention. Kevin Ashford reports. Now, many aspects of life uh, have been affected during lockdown, not least live music with uh, gigs cancelled and many venues still unable to open. Tonight would have been the night when Roachford and Beverly Knight performed together at the Shepherd's Bush Empire. Alas, that is no longer happening, although they are going to be joining us in just a moment. But first, let's get a reminder of what they both sound like. Good evening. Um, listen, the reason you were going to be performing together at Shepherd's Bush is uh, because you're actually performing a song together on Roachford's new album. It's called Twice in a Lifetime. But Roachford, that was all done before lockdown. Then Covid comes along and the tour, it's put on hold for the moment. How frustrating for you. Let's just uh, talk to you because I want to know how this uh, duet came about because you're, you're a pretty big fan, aren't you, of Roachford? And didn't you even do a version of one of his biggest songs, Cuddly Toy? Is that true? And Roachford, you know, it's been it's been a tough time for a lot of people, hasn't it? The last six months for you as well, because you lost your brother, your best mate, your manager just before we went into lockdown. I mean, this is difficult for you as well. And presumably you've just thrown yourself into the music. Yeah. Barry Barlow in a bit of a crooning, I believe. Let's just have a listen. You know, you're a legend of the West End stage as well. It's been a really, really tough, uh, you know, all the theatres out there, the musicals that have had to stop. Um, how hard is it for you as a performer just not to be able to get out there in front of a big crowd and do what you do best? All right, time for the weather now. Here's Manali. And finally tonight, Helena Stone from Islington went against medical advice last year by having her leg amputated. Why would anyone do that? Well, she was living with a condition called chronic regional pain syndrome and she didn't want that to affect her running, swimming and rowing. Well, she told Antoine Allen how she now hopes to compete at the highest level. Now, just before we go, a look at the next edition of All Around Britain, bringing you some of the very best news stories from across the country, including a few of our own. Here's Ranveer Singh and Alex Beresford with the details. And that is it from us. We are back with the latest after ITV News at 10. Coming up, Charlene White with the ITV Evening News. But from me and the rest of the London team, bye-bye.